Every day when I go to school, I always pass by this vacant landfill that is full of cooking grass or called as Imbrata Srindrika. One of Indonesia's major problems is plastic pollution because plastic cannot be decomposed quickly. However, this will harm the aquatic cycle and it cause environmental damage. So in my research, my title will be Imbrata Srindrika as a bioplastic alternative. My name is Jennifer Fulara from Chita Timas. Cooking grass grows rapidly. It takes up all the soil nutrients around them. And it also blocks the sunlight of other plants so they won't be able to photosynthesize quickly. And the other problem is that people around the world uses plastic bags due to their cheap prices and it's easy to use. So in my research goal, I want to make a bioplastic by utilizing a cooking grass or called Imbrata Sildrica along with measuring the applied force strength. So here's my experiment design. First, we prepare the Imbrata Sandrica, then we're going to determine its components. The first components will be the amount of cellulose and the second one is the amount of kerosene. And with those components, you can make a bioplastic. So I'm going to make four samples. The first sample will start from 0% of cellulose and it increases into 0.75 gram. And while on the other hand, the kerosene will start from 1 gram and will decrease into 0.95 with the help of 50 milliliter of acetic acid. First, we extract the dried cellulose and then followed by the neutralizing process until the pH reaches 7. Then we're going to have the lignin process followed by the bleaching process and finally obtaining the alpha cellulose. After obtaining it, we're going to oxidize it and we're going to uh, co mix it with the composition of kerosene. And then we're going to put it in a mold and leave it until it dries. So here's my data that I obtained. The first sample is 7.7 .7 newton, while the second sample is 11.8 newton, and the third sample is 34.2 newton, and the last one is 23 newton. From the applied force result, I can tell that sample 3, the one with 50% of cellulose and 50% of kerosene, had the strongest applied force, and the weakest one is sample 1, the one with no cellulose. In brief, I can conclude that bioplastic can be made by utilizing Iprana cylindrica or called cooking grass. According to applied force, sample tree is the strongest while the first one is the weakest. In my future work, there will be water and soil degradation tasks that will be done and there will also be an addition of glycerol to add the elasticity of my bioplastic. Each one of us can make a difference. So let's stop plastic pollution and use Iprada bioplastic. Thank you.